Hello everyone, how are you going? And welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6, where this time I want to go check out firing range. Now, as we can see with around 60 and 150 lives, obviously I have chosen medium. Hopefully I am not over my head with the dual way. What does it go like this? I can only imagine. And then I guess being able to place things wise, there is so much room, but I can't put a tax shoot around here. It's not going to do anything. Can I put it up here? No, okay. Ooh, this might be difficult. I think starting out, I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, I probably should have spread that other one out a bit more. Anyway, I'll put this guy right here and we'll see how we go. Eventually I would like to give these guys some spiker pot and then they should be able to just go target last and take down the entire range. Speaking of that though, let me just go sharp shots, sharp shots for you. I don't think I need long range, but ooh, maybe I should just for the advanced eyesight. Like I was saying though, you just are unable to place anything up here, which is such a shame because that entire run would be so good and so powerful. I guess that's why they don't let you do it. In saying that though, what tower will I want next? Maybe if I could put, oh, imagine if you could put Quincy up there and that would give him like extra range. That would be awesome instead of it just being an obstacle. I would understand if you couldn't place a tax shooter up there because then it would shoot over the balloons if it's up in a three-dimensional tower, but for the sniper monkey on a firing range map, I would kind of go, oh, come on, cap me some slack, sniper, Quincy, things like that, come on. Now, I am wondering what I want to be placing next. I'm wondering if I want to do a wizard, can I fit? Oh, I can't even put wizards there, that's a shame. Alrighty then, that changes things, because I was hoping to be able to do that, and then wall of fire and everything else would be up there. What else fits? Oh, a ninja barely fits, really? Can I not fit a wizard in there? A wizard is bigger than a ninja. That's news to me, I would have thought they're identical. Can a bomb tower fit? No, that's definitely going to be bigger. I definitely can't fit attack and ice, probably. Really, I can't even fit, ooh, maybe, ooh, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like I can fit an ice, but that's not really helpful. So that means they are pretty small landing pads. And I think in saying that then, I just want to be going Buccaneer to help out a little bit. Maybe I'll put one right there, there we go. I might just grab the razor sharp shots just to help out. And then the Buccaneer should be able to pick some things off. I'll get grape shot for it though, I think next, just so it sprays down the firing range. Anytime you're ready, there we go. Grape shot for you, that'll be perfect. I mean, I guess we do have heaps of room for plenty of banana farms and monkey villages or any of those kind of support towers. You could get what, one, two, three, maybe four high by, I don't know, 10, so 40 banana farms. You would have so much money, but nothing to really spend it on because there's no towers able to be placed. Faster firing, why not? And that just helps everyone out. At least that is the good thing. Every balloon will eventually come past the buccaneer at least, what, three times. And in saying that, my next obstacle is going to be the camo. Obviously you can afford to lose, what is it? Three lives from the green camo that first comes out, but I'd rather not. If I can afford it, I can afford it. I could get enhanced eyesight for the dart monkeys, but is that going to be best? I've already got crow's nest out of the way. I guess if I did get a sub, wow, the sub looks massive. Why is the sub so massive there? I guess the buccaneer just before it's upgraded looks not as big as I thought. I'm still so disappointed that there is nowhere for me to place a wizard monkey. It'd be so good, but I can't believe, no, give it back to me. I can't believe there is nowhere for me to place it besides this big dirt patch down the below. And look, I guess it's nice of them to give me some water, but I certainly would have rather it to be nice and symmetrical and have two. And so you know what? In terms of these camos, I'm just going to shove a sniper, I guess here, yeah, that makes the most sense because the building's in the way. The only question for me now is, do I want to get a monkey village and get radar scanner and just make an entire circle of sniper monkeys or is that a little bit too ridiculous and I should just get night vision while I can? Because that certainly determines if I'm going full metal jacket fast firing or night vision from the start. I kind of want to do it and just see how many sniper monkeys I can get. It's Nothing's getting through at the moment. The sniper monkey is definitely going to be good for quite a while and so I don't know how big the bigger radius is, but I'll put it right there and then put it on the edge so that'll be fine right there yes the sniper monkey is actually getting that and then radar scanner in a second yeah yeah that'll work just fine i mean i'm gonna have to let this camo just cruise on by oh maybe it can get caught in the grape shot i think it can hit it no damn all right that's fine like i said three lives i can afford that like i said i'll just save up for radar scanner so next time that doesn't happen it shouldn't be too long pretty close now to radar scanner come on just a couple more balloons thank you now the camos i'm happy with i've just be able to pick off a couple of them and then you know what it's just going to be a spiker pole strong no not strong i want last there we go oh well that's a little bit of a shame do i need to be selling something really quickly to be able to afford something i think i might just sell you and get full metal jacket there we go well that is a little bit scary come on take him out take him out take out a few otherwise i'm probably gonna die there we go oh that's a lot of lives being lost but i'm glad that i got that let me just quickly get this guy back and put him back onto last when i can Ooh, i just need to be getting some more things to be able to pop this lead hot shot perhaps i guess actually putting the sniper monkey onto strong would definitely help out yes look i can finally hear the pops actually happening instead of just the tink quick shots just because why not quick shots why not there we go now i'm a little bit more comfortable hot shots double shot will be coming soon and for now i will leave him on strong but also for now i'm just going to quickly get another one here we go just in that radius he can go on to first and oh perfect timing with the camos thank you very much they can just hold him at bay all day long and i'll just make it nice and symmetrical there we go the firing range is in full effect 
Jake, so thank goodness for that. Full metal jacket for you, I'll get full metal jacket for the other guy, and then I should be fine for a couple rounds, but it's almost round 40, and I do not know how I'm going to be taking out this Moab. I guess even faster firing just to try and do some serious damage as it cruises through every single path, but yeah, it's going to be some sketchy stuff. Upgrading this one, faster firing as well, I'll get faster firing for this guy because I'm just not going down the middle path considering I've already got radar in action. Now I'm pretty comfortable for a couple rounds. I don't know how I'm going to take out this Moab though, that's the only problem I'm seeing. Even faster firing and even faster firing, but even then I just don't know how I can do that much damage. And I guess I do not know which side it will come out of, but for now I'm just going to have to wait and see. I could get cannon ship double shot, I'll just get both of them, why not? That should certainly do some damage as the mob just cruises past both of them I'm sure. And then with this last round I'm just going to be saving up for large caliber because there is nowhere I can fit a bomb shooter. I would love to get mob assassin, I guess I could put it all the way at the back here and it would take it out, but I'm just trying to do a little bit of a firing range and have the sniper monkeys be a firing range. So 2700, so large caliber for you, I won't be able to afford anything else except, nope, large caliber for you that is, and hopefully, here we go, come out of the left and hopefully I can do some damage, come on sniper monkeys, I need you to do it, oh yes, 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 thank you very much, the cannon ship really does help break it down at the end there. I might as well grab jungle jumps if my sniper monkeys are going to be doing all the work and yeah, let's just continue on our way. Now that that's gone and now that I know I can do it, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable. And then I'm just going to continue investing it, large caliber for all three of them, there we go, between strong, first and first, I'm pretty happy. In saying that though, I kind of want another Buccaneer because it did so well for me last time, I would love to be able to get three in there, so I'm going to try and squeak these guys close as possible and then maybe, maybe I can, oh, I just can't get three in there, damn you, I can't get a sub in there, oh, I can get a sub in there, okay, well, okay, let me just check, oh, well, no, I can get a third Buccaneer in there, or do I want a sub just for the range? I guess I don't actually have that much range, I have a bit at the start, but then it's not like the sniper monkeys offer anything, and so unless I'm thinking of saving up for first strike capability, I think this, ah, oh, stuff it, I'll just get a sub, it's easier to fit, it's made to be. I think I'll get a destroyer for this second ship, even though it is quite expensive, ballistic missile, because why not? I'm just in two minds though, do I want to get a banana farm or about six, or do I just want to be spending my money on things like juggernauts? Maybe I get one, I just, every time I get one, it kills me. I don't need it to be in the range of that, but I don't want it to be in the way of lining the walls here, so... Hmm, uh, uh, I don't know where to put it. Maybe just I'll put a nice little grid right here. Like last time, I think I'm just going to go not all the way to Monkey Bank just yet, but I will get there soon. Here we go. Okay, another Moab. Okay, yeah, but good. At least I was able to take that one out a little bit faster. Greater production because I don't seem too threatened right now. And yeah, that's not too bad. Round 50 wasn't too bad, and it's round 60 that I'm a little bit worried about because that's all of them in one. In saying that though, let me just get Destroyer for you. And can I still get, no, can't get Monkey Bank, but that's okay. I'll get it in literally a second there. There we go. Nice bank right there. I just like the fact I don't have to worry about it, even though I do have to worry about it because last time I let it build up too much, but now that I know it's 7,000, I know to collect it after a little while. Oh, come on, break that thing down. Okay, good. Oh, I'm just worried. Come on, everyone, just take out these rainbow balloons. I need to be getting rid of them. Okay, guess it's taken out. And yeah, that Moab is pretty destroyed fairly quickly. I guess something I could get is May Moab. That could certainly help me out if I'm worried about them traveling too far too fast. It is four grand, but I think I'm going to get it just because by round 60, I think I'm going to need it. Oh, and I could also get a Moab Assassin. Hmm, maybe I save up for one of those as well, and that's what the bank can help me afford. Yeah, look at that, it's immediately being put into work as the mobs just come out the gate, and it's just holding it there for everything else to hit, that's great. I'm pretty happy with that investment to be honest. Now do I look at doing full auto rifle, or do I get the other one to a semi-automatic or deadly precision? There's too many options with sniper monkeys, they all work pretty darn well. I could get a monkey pirates, and that's also not a bad idea, but like I said, I was also thinking of a mob assassin, but I just don't know where to put it, there's not really anywhere efficient to put it, because besides using its ability it cannot do much unless I put it right in like a corner here so I can only see that and even then that's not great so I think semi-automatic for you and then I'm just going to move on oh my goodness I didn't even realize it was around 60 but hey oh it's taken it out yes look at that oh that wasn't even anything to worry about thank goodness for that victory is mine pop account 70,000 monkey star the 402 30,000 nothing much but let's continue to free play and see how far I can get on this very random track it's just going to be difficult I think I'll just get juggernaut to hopefully help out in that regard maybe some monkey pirates or something soon. First try capability would also be nice. However, I am wondering, do I want to put another monkey village over here to let these guys see camo? Because really, all the camo is just left up to these guys at the moment. The sniper monkey's down the bottom. Speaking of down the bottom, let me just collect that banana farm, and finally I'll use it to pay for another one. There we go. Straight up to monkey bank increased production. There we go. Now they're two of the same, and I've still got four and a half grand. Full auto rifle, because why not? Elite defender will be on the horizon, and next it's just going to be another one. Top path when I can afford it, straight onto strong faster firing, large caliber, another main Moab is what we're going for. Because look at how many Moabs are just coming out now and it is being put to seriously good work considering if I can just hold both sides at the same time I reckon that'll work pretty well because everything can just take them out 
while I was there. And already I can see the effects of these guys. They're doing so well. Even though their pop accounts don't seem like anything too crazy, I think they're basically winning me the game at the moment. Hopefully by the end of this round, I'll be able to get main mower, maybe even sooner, but I don't think I will be able to get it. Oh, I just made it in. There we go. Now at least I have two pairs working in tandem together. I do want to get full auto rifle for this guy and I will get that once the banks allow me to do it. How are you guys going? Oh, you'll be pretty close to being full. So I just watch you 6,000. You're making some money, but hopefully not too much money or I can actually grab it in time. A few BFBs are coming out. I think by the end of this round, it's going, yep, they're absolutely maxed out. Thank you very much. Increased production, greater production. There we go. Three of them working in tandem. Do I want another one? Probably not. I'm just going to get first strike capability, I think. I mean, I could also get aircraft carrier because that's a little bit cheaper. And speaking of aircraft carriers, maybe I look at getting a monkey ace and put them long ways because that should work quite well on this map, actually. Anyway, I guess I just get first strike capability while I can. I said I was going to do it, so there we go. I got it. That is a lot of regrow balloons. Oh, but they're whittling down pretty fast. Okay. Wow. That was surprising. I'm not too sure if that was the buccaneers or the snapper monkeys, but it worked well enough. Here we go. Use that again. Ah, oh, it obliterates them. It's great. I kind of want more, but I know how powerful the buccaneers can be as well. Speaking of, I'm just going to get monkey pirates for the first guy, the main man. There we go. And then now I guess I'll save up for an aircraft carrier. For now, I'm just going to be using the banks to buy more banks. And then eventually I'll hit a kind of an exponential curve and I won't need any more banks, but that'll be fine. Four should be good. Or maybe I'll get six if I can. Yeah, I guess I can fit six if I wanted to, if I get that far. Oh, that is a, oh, no, I think this is going to be killing me. There we go. No way. Even just talking about banana farms can kill you these days. But no, that was always going to be a difficult one. Taking out just mass groups of camos. How do I, I don't know, how do I usually do it? Maybe the bomb towers do some serious work. Or I guess actually the dragon's breath from the wizard monkey probably usually does a whole lot. And so, yeah, obviously those just aren't really options. If I can't put them in any decent range, there's no point putting it in the middle of nowhere. It just was where I can barely hit it. No, it's not going to really help me. And even though I definitely could have afforded with all this cash and especially just generally, I could have afforded to get the aircraft carrier. I don't know how much it would have helped me. Like I said, just too many or too little options with this map. And I don't know how you approach it in the late, late, late game. But anyway, in saying that, I reckon I'm going to call it there. So thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, feel free to do the YouTube algorithm things down below. Also, if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, then make sure to go check out any other ones I've done. Or hey, maybe even just want to consider subscribing so that you don't miss another one of these in the future. But all in all, have a good one and see ya.